Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super duper excited to be coming at you with another comparison video. So today, I would like to talk to you about hand cream. Now I know what you're thinking, um, why? Well, a lot of us are doing a lot of hand washing, and so hand creams have kind of come back in as a very trendy now product. A lot of people really need a rich hand cream, and so I've been seeing a lot of hand creams on Instagram kind of flooding everybody's social media feeds, especially these two hand creams. And so I thought it would be super fun to compare them for you guys. I've been testing them out for the last couple of weeks and I'm excited to tell you my thoughts and which one is worth it and which one you should buy. All right, so the first product I wanna to talk to you about is the Glossier Hand Cream. This is 1.7 fluid ounces and it's just 18 bucks. Yes, you heard me right, 1.7 fluid ounces, 18 bucks, made in the USA, a steal, frankly. And how cute is this packaging? The scent of this product is Glossier U Perfume. So if you've tried the perfume before and you love it, you would probably love this a lot. Now for those of us who haven't tried the perfume, Glossier U's Perfume, I would call it a fresh, clean, and woody scent. It has tones of ambrosia, and green iris and pink pepper and it's very musky and woody um, it's a very very strong scented product so you pop this on your hands once and even after you wash your hands maybe even once or twice it'll still be on your hands in fact leaving this product closed just putting it near my face, I can already smell the product. Now for those of you who love scented products and who love the Glossier U scent, this is awesome because it literally smells like you've sprayed it on your actual body. Um, it's just wafting in the air. And for those of us who don't know if we like the Glossier scent or you just don't love strong scents, it might be the kind of thing that actually gives you a headache. For me, I found it really annoying actually. I would be eating my lunch and I would have this Glossier U scent just wafting in the air. And so I found it was actually kind of distracting. <laughs> for me, it was a con, but for other people, it might actually be a pro. Now, as far as the ingredients, the key ingredients in here are coconut fruit, extract and meadow foam sea oil these are brightening ingredients they help moisturize the hands it also has echinacea and rosemary in here and those are very anti-inflammatory soothing ingredients it's been dermatologist tested it's cruelty free it is gluten free nut dairy and soy free and gmo free as far as the packaging, it's really gorgeous. It's a palm-sized product. It fits in the size of your palm, and it's really, really aesthetically pleasing. Like I said, it kind of reminds me of an AirPod case, actually, with its little like lid that flips open. That's really, really fun. And it is recyclable. The body of this hand cream is recyclable. However, unfortunately, the lid is not. So that was kind of weird for me to find out. Not sure what to make of that. I like that they're trying. I love that it has the Glossier all around the rim of the product. I think that's really, really a beautiful touch. I don't really like that I have to squeeze the product really hard to get the product out of the packaging. I think that's in part because there's actually a lot of air in here. There's more air in the package than in the Chanel hand cream. So you end up having to squeeze harder and harder as you go through the product. And I don't think that that is maybe the best design idea. I don't think that this is suitable for super cracked, parched, dry hands from over sanitizing them or washing them. It's not too heavy, it's very lightweight. This isn't the kind of product that you would need to put on at night and let it soak throughout the night because it's so rich and heavy. So I would say it's not a hand treatment, it truly is just a lightweight hand cream with a really pleasant scent that's really aesthetically pleasing and nice to pop into your purse. 
Now to compare it with the Chanel. Yes, this egg is such a cool packaged product. It is super iconic. It's been all over Instagram if you haven't seen it. I feel like this is just a symbol of a luxury product. And this is 1.7 fluid ounces, so just exactly the same as you would get in the Glossier hand cream, except for it is a whopping $50. It's made in France. It does come in four different kinds though, which I thought was really, really cool. So it comes in the original. It comes in the number five Lot de Parfum. That is essentially the same as the original, just with the number five fragrance scent. And then it comes in a black egg version, which is called Le Lift which is supposed to be more of an anti-aging hand cream. And then it also comes in a texture riche, which is the one that I picked up today because I wanted to see how rich their richest texture was. The scent for this guy is a lot lighter and a lot more subtle than the Glossier. I can't really pinpoint what it is, but it just smells like a Chanel product. If you've ever smelled a Chanel cream or body lotion, it smells very similar. It's very light and subtle and flowery, powdery even, but it's so subtle that it does not waft up to your face throughout the day, but it does stay on your hands for, I would say, at least a few hours, but it's nothing too overwhelming. It's just a nice little scent that you can sometimes smell if you have your hands near your face. So the key ingredients in here are Iris Pallida, which is a brightening ingredient, it comes from flowers. And then you have May Rose Wax, which is very, very hydrating, as well as Shea Butter and Glycerin. Glycerin is a humectant, it helps bind water to the hands, the skin, essentially. So these are all hydrating and brightening ingredients. I like the packaging because it's very easy to squeeze. So it's super easy to get the product out, which I really, really appreciate. I would say it's the perfect texture between rich enough without being greasy. I feel like it sinks into the hands very, very well. It doesn't make me feel hesitant about going about my day and touching other items. Um, again, I don't think that this would be the kind of cream that you would use if your hands were very cracked and dry. I think that this is more of a maintenance product as is the Glossier. They're both kind of just aesthetically pleasing hand creams that will allow you to hydrate throughout the day. I will say, however, when I use both of these creams, I feel like I don't need to keep reapplying, which I really appreciate. I felt like I use them every day and after like day four, I felt like I only needed to apply it once a day, which I do feel like that means that it was helping the overall hydration of my hands. A little goes a long way for both of the creams, and that's something that I really, really appreciated. I didn't feel like I was gonna run out of either cream very, very quickly. So I would say that to break it down, the cons of the Chanel is that it's pricey, it's not cruelty free, and it's not a hand treatment. So for the price point, you're just getting a very aesthetically pleasing hand cream that will maybe slowly help your hands over time. But if your hands are already in a very dry, cracked place, this is not going to cut it for you. And then as far as the Glossier, I love the price point, but the very, very overly strong fragrance is a con for me personally. I don't love that, kind of gives me a headache. Um, I don't like that the packaging is harder to squeeze out the product. And I think the packaging is kind of a little bulky as well. I feel like compared to the Chanel, the Chanel is easier to like maneuver, if that makes sense. But um, in terms of the pros, the Glossy A is such an amazing price point. It's such a gorgeously packaged product. All right, you guys, so there you have it. One hand cream versus the other. I personally feel like if the Glossy A hand cream was just a little bit more subtle with its scent, it would be the clear winner here. But for me, I just couldn't get past the overwhelming scent. I just 
hated it so much. <laughs> I genuinely cannot stand it. But I also feel like $50 is a lot to pay for something that isn't actually doing anything crazy to your hands. So this would only be like a treat yourself product if you just love the idea of having this in your bag, popping it out, and it's just more about the user experience. This is something that you would enjoy using and so you should buy it if you would enjoy using it. Do you know what I mean? All right, you guys. So that is my full transparent comparison. I hope this video helped you, especially if you've been checking out these hand creams lately and you've been wondering if this is a dupe for this one. I don't think so. I don't think they're the same, but they're definitely the same in vibe and what they're trying to accomplish. Let me know in the comments which hand cream you would think is better value or which one you would pick up or would you pick up neither? Do you think that they're both overhyped? I would love to know, let me know in the comments. And if you haven't entered my giveaway, it's still open and you can enter it before June 20th. Thank you so much you guys for tuning in. I'm so excited to bring you more comparison videos throughout the week. I have like so many comparison ideas and I really enjoy making these kinds of videos. I think they're so fun. So if you have any comparison video that you want me to do, shoot me a comment down below and let me know. If you like videos like this, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up just so I know that it is popular and you enjoy them. All right, you guys, thanks so much for tuning in and thank you for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.